Well, Andy, uh, I'm really excited to get out of this room. And Historic is right. I think we're all a little tired of being, you know, stuck and isolated from one another. And this market has been changing so quickly, especially in connected TV and video. And we, we always find that the best way to solve hard problems is getting the smartest people in the room together to talk about it and debate the key issues. So looking forward to doing that together with the group that you've uh, you pulled together here in a couple of weeks. So Phil, tell us about some of the topics, you know, big issues uh, that the industry needs to solve and, and, and maybe a little bit about how Iris sort of fits into some of those solutions. Totally. Yeah. Andy, you've covered this one a lot, but uh, it's probably the biggest change happening in market right now. Linear uh, viewership has been moving to connected TV and, and streaming, and it's been accelerating as a result of the pandemic. And what we've seen is that connected TV is now the fastest growing market segment. And that's as a result of changes in viewer behavior, but it's also the fastest growing segment of ad spend. Um, and also the one of the best ways to drive return on ad spend. So when you look at that category and kind of zoom into the growth of ad supported streaming, the biggest growth area is this other category uh, or uh, that's what eMarketer calls it. And, and kind of to many buyers, it's kind of this unknown category of supply. Um, that's the fastest growing area of ad spend. It's about twice the size of Hulu and three times the size of YouTube ad spend on CTV. Uh, it's not happening in kind of fraudulent inventory. It's really happening on new supply sources like Vizio and Plex, Samsung, Roku, um, where there's just so much growth because of the, the free TV offerings available on those platforms. And buyers don't have transparency into where their ads are getting placed. So specifically where their ads are being placed alongside of what content. So we're really excited to be solving that problem. And, and we think it's one of the biggest opportunities in the whole market right now, because when you provide transparency, it drives performance for buyers. And we think that's gonna result in uh, an acceleration of dollars moving from from traditional TV and even other ad formats into this new market. Now, Phil, you're going to be on stage with uh, Mike Fisher from Essence, a great guy, uh, uh, for your keynote. What do you, uh, you know, give us a little preview of what you guys will be covering. So the, the big area that we're going to be talking about is, is how you can solve for this transparency problem in connected TV that uh, so many people on the buy and sell side have been complaining about and really bringing brand safety and brand suitability into this market uh, at the individual ad pod level. So for pre-rolls and mid-rolls. And this is something that you know everyone's familiar with. Brand safety and contextual targeting is available on 100% you know, pretty much of impressions and display, but it hasn't been available for connected TV and video until really this year. So um, we're gonna be digging into kind of how that's now possible, kind of all the partners that we're working with. And the fact that now a brand like Budweiser can actually target viewers watching say college football at the exact moment they're watching that content uh, or baseball, you know, content like the world series in that moment. And it's resulting in better outcomes. So we'll be excited to talk about some of the case studies that we're seeing. Um, and it's obvious, right? When you can kind of place your ad alongside a relevant content, it drives performance. Um, so we're, we're excited to dig in and share more about that. Fantastic. And, and finally uh, you guys have been, uh, Doing, uh, you've had a lot of great progress lately. Um, you, you raised um, a round not too long ago from Intel Capital. Congratulations. And, you know, tell us a little bit about sort of what's happening there in terms of growth and in terms of partnerships and uh, kind of what we can expect. So, yeah, a major area that we're seeing kind of across the market right now is um, the, the use of this data to drive better outcomes. And that happens when you actually standardize and make available um, content identifiers um, that then the buy and sell side can use in a standardized way. Um, so what we've done since raising our Series B is uh, release the Iris ID, which is a content identifier for every individual video, whether it's a movie or a TV show or a clip, um, and could be even UGC. And on that identifier, we're storing brand safety data, contextual data, uh, genre level data, even show an episode. And we're doing that with all of the leading third party uh, data and verification companies in market to make this capability available for targeting and verification. 
So those are just kind of um, uh, like a, a bit of the top level uh, kind of overview on what we're doing. But if the, the kind of baseline, it's enabling transparency for buyers and sellers, um, both on the upfront before you're buying and using that for targeting, but also understanding what you purchase and using that for planning and measurement um, to inform future buys as you move more spend into this market. 